This is the outside of the 2021 Benamar Tesoro T483. As we move along, we will firstly come to the gas locker. As you can see, we have plenty of space in here for two gas bottles. The regulator just sits here, and then the hose comes off the regulator and screws into the propane bottle and is tightened with a gas spanner. Bottle on and off on the top. Do make sure that the bottle is isolated for travel. Mains hookup connection just here. And fresh water tank fill just here. As you can see, the cap can be locked. Just pop your hose in to fill up your fresh water tank. The fresh water tank is drained underneath the motorhome. Just here, just turn the blue tap to drop the fresh tank. The grey water drain is just here, so anything that goes down your plug holes goes into the holding tank and then is drained by pulling the lever just here. This model is fitted with rear corner steadies and you can see I've wound one down with the winding handle. They just literally connect onto here and then just wind them up and down. And then obviously we have another one on the other side. This just firms up the back end when parked up. Access to the garage just here. So we have the spare wheel just here. Ladder for the bed. We do have access to the garage from the rear as well. And then we have the bike rack. This particular bike rack winds up and down and it is done on this winding handle here. It's magnetic, so just literally catch it in the end and then literally wind it to drop it down. Once the bike rack has been wound down, it will then look like this. And then all we need to do is just pull the rails down like so. The wheels of the bike sit on these rails and then uh, these straps are secured through the wheels. And then these bars here then just attach round the framework of the bikes. And then once you're all secure, you then just wind back up again. And then as you can see, the bikes will then sit up in this higher position for travel. It's always advisable to pop these straps on around here as well to make sure that everything is secure. As we now come round to the other side, we again have access to the garage just here. We have a main socket and a 12 volt socket just here and we also have the light switch as well. The cassette toilet is just here and to remove the cassette just lift up on the blue lever and pull towards you. Before use, remove the cap and add your toilet chemical. This is also where it empties from. Just remember that when pouring it away to hold the button in just here because this will release the vacuum inside. It's also advisable to keep this, keep this seal lubricated. Vetford do their own seal lubricant, but any silicon based lubricant is fine. This is also a nice quick and easy way of giving the cassette a good clean. 
if anything was to wrap itself around the float mechanism which will then give you a false reading on the toilet that the, that the cassette is full it can be removed and cleaned just here all of these cassettes now are on wheels with pull up handles We then have both vents for the fridge freezer. As this is a fully winterized van, it is supplied with winter covers. This winter cover is for this top vent just here, which has been removed. The other winter cover is currently installed just here. To remove them or put them in, all you need to do is just undo the black clips and then pull the vent towards you and then take out or put in the winter cover. The winter covers definitely need to be off in the warmer months or otherwise the fridge will just overheat and not work correctly. We then have the flue for the Truma boiler just here. We don't need to do anything with it but just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. Because this flue sits underneath this window just here there is a pressure switch just here so if you are heating your hot water or you're heating on gas and you open this window it will cut it out to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning external barbecue and shower point just here if you're going to use the barbecue point remove the dust cover just here and then attach this end to the barbecue and then this end here just plugs in once it's plugged in it will lock into place and then you'll be able to turn the gas on to remove it just push on the collar pull down on the hose and it will then release for the external shower all we need to do is literally plug in just here and it will then lock into place and then once it's locked in as long as the water pump is on this will then go under pressure and exactly the same as the barbecue point just push on the collar to release it We have the Fiamma rollout canopy just here. You'll see that I've attached the awning winding handle. Very similar to the bike rack. Just literally wind the awning out like so. As you can now see, I've wound the canopy out a short distance. The legs themselves are clipped in just up here. So just pull them out and then the leg will slide out and drop down then undo and then drop the leg down and then get it to the height that you require and then lock it into place then do this with the other leg as well and then continue to wind the awning out and then just walk the legs out as you do it never leave the awnings out in high winds because you do run the risk of causing irreversible damage diesel fill just here and add blue top up just here it will let you know on the dashboard when you need to top up your add blue leisure battery underneath the passenger seat and the vehicle battery is located underneath the driver's seat bonnet release is pop the ignition key in turn to the left turn to the right and then lift up <laughs> 